This art lesson is sponsored by Paramount Pictures for the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Hey our friends, in this lesson we're going to show you how to draw Donnie. Yeah, from the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Parents, this movie is out everywhere on digital today. You can download and watch the four turtles in action right at home. I'm so excited about this lesson and I hope you are too and you're going to follow along. We're going to draw Donnie but his full body and we're also going to draw him in the style of the movie. Yes. So it's a little more advanced but it's still going to be fun because we're going to take it one step at a time. So you need to gather up all your art supplies. Let's show our art friends what they need for this lesson. Okay. We're using colored pencils and markers, and we also have some marker paper to draw on. But also remember, you guys at home can use whatever you have. You don't have to use the exact same supplies. But if you want to follow along, we're going to use a green colored pencil, a light green, to draw with first. We're going to draw all of the main shapes with our green colored pencil. Then we also have a purple, black, and white colored pencil. Then we're going to use three green markers, light, medium, and a dark green. Then we also have a yellow and an orange. Then we have two purples, light and dark purple. And we also have two grays, light and dark. Then we also have a light, medium, and dark brown. Let's put these off to the side and we're going to just use our green pencil first. Okay. Let's first start by drawing the main shape of his head, which is a circle. And we're going to draw it in the middle of our paper, but towards the top so that we have room for his whole body. And this part of the lesson, it's okay to draw your lines messy and sketchy. It's okay because these are just the main shapes and their guidelines. So I'm gonna draw it about this big and you can press a little bit harder so that it's easier to see on camera and then also easier to see when we start adding the layers of marker on top. Okay, then we're gonna draw a line that comes straight down. This is for the middle of his body and we're gonna draw it about maybe this long, right about there. Then we're going to draw the top of his chest and we're just going to draw a straight line that goes across and it's about the same width as the circle or his head. Now we're going to draw the outside shape of his belly. We're going to draw a U shape that comes down, comes across and then back up. Now let's draw his legs. We're first, I'm going to draw a guide shape right here. We're going to draw a circle about this size and I'm going to draw another circle over here. Then we're gonna draw his leg coming down. We can draw a line, just a guideline that comes out like this. And we're gonna draw a guideline that comes out this way too. So we're gonna draw him in this really cool stance with his legs spread, ready to attack. He's gonna be holding his bow staff also. Then we can draw his knee. And we're gonna draw a smaller circle at the bottom of this line. So it kinda looks like we're drawing the skeleton of Donnie first. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw a line that bends down for his shin or the bottom part of his leg. So these are his knees and then this is the second part of his leg or the lower part. Then we can draw his heel. We're going to draw another circle right here. This is fun, isn't it? it yeah, it is. It's like we're drawing a stick figure but made out of bones. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to draw the bottom of his foot right here and also right here. Yeah. Okay, let's draw his arms. We're going to come back up here. We're just going to draw this skeleton shape. So we're going to draw his shoulders first. And we're going to draw that same circle for the right shoulder. Now this arm is bent. So his elbow is actually in his bicep is right here and it's tucked up behind his shoulder. So we're just going to draw a line that comes straight down like this. This is his forearm. And then we're going to draw his fist at the bottom of that line. Then on this arm, we're going to draw a little bit different. We're going to come down to his elbow. And then we're going to draw the elbow right here. So we've got the line coming down. Then we got his elbow and then we got his forearm coming forward. And then his fist is right here. So this circle, we want it to be the same size as this circle. And we have an elbow right here, but this elbow is tucked up in here. So you could even draw just a small little elbow shape there if we wanted. But that one's pulled up really high so that he has his bow staff. And we can even draw the bow staff coming all the way through his body because this is coming behind his shell and even off the page. I love that Donnie had a stick. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what am I doing with a stick? <laughs> and then he started hitting people with it. <laughs> yep. 
And then he realized that his bow staff was one of the coolest weapons ever. Okay, let's keep going. Let's now add the outside parts of each of the arms and legs. So first, let's start here. And we've got the forearm. We're going to draw a line on the outside. So we've got the guideline going through the middle, but we're going to draw the outside of the forearm coming down to his wrist. Then right here, we can also draw his bicep. So we're going to draw a curve on the left. And then we can draw his tricep or the muscle on the outside of his arm coming down to his elbow. And then we're going to draw the forearm. We'll draw two lines on the outside of that. Now it's starting to look like he has muscles and yeah. he's a little thicker, right? Then we're going to draw his thigh. So we can draw a curve on the left. And then we're going to draw a curve on the right. And then we're going to draw the front of his shin. And then we can also draw his calf muscle on the other side. Then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. We can draw the curves on the outside. So we're connecting really from the outside of this top circle down to the outside of his knee circle. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll draw his calf muscle on the left. And then we can draw a straight line on the right side. Now we can draw a little triangle shape right here for his foot. So we're going to draw it coming down, connecting to there. And then also for the heel, we can draw a little diagonal line coming out this way. Let's do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to make it a little more short or not as long. It's point, this foot is pointed more directly towards us. Now let's connect his shoulders or let's draw a line that connects from his shoulder muscle up to his head. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Now let's add a few more details to his head. We're going to draw a line that comes straight across. This is, well, let's draw a little bit lower. This is for the bottom of his mask. And then we can also draw the top of his mask. So a line above it. Go over it a couple times when we're doing this part of our lesson because we're just drawing those guidelines. So sometimes I go over it a couple times just to make sure that's where I want to put the line. And then down here, we're going to draw his smile. We're going to draw it just slightly curved, but it's coming almost all the way to the edge of the circle, really close to it. And then we're going to draw his mouth open so we can see his teeth. So I'm drawing another line right below the first one. Then let's add little cheeks to the side of his head. So right here, we're going to extend this line coming out and then coming back in for the left cheek. And then we can do the same thing over here. We're going to draw the cheek coming out just a little and then we're going to come back into the head. Then for his eyes, we can draw two upside down U shapes and I'm going to draw them kind of wide. So we'll start here. We're going to come up, over, and back down. For one eye, we're going to do the same thing over here for the other eye. And I'm trying to draw the top of this upside down U shape, tipped a little bit so he, he looks a little angry, like his eyebrows are coming down. He's getting ready to attack one of the bad guys. <laughs> and then let's add a little circle. We can even color it in at the very top of each of these upside down U shapes. Now it's starting to look like him, but we need to add the glasses. We're going to add those a little bit later with our black colored pencil. Let's leave the guidelines just like this for his head. And we can't forget his shell. That's the last part we need. We're going to draw a curve that comes down out from the side of his head. And we're going to curve down. He has a really big shell. We're going to curve down to his arm and connect right here. Now the rest of the shell actually comes behind his arm and then connects down here to his leg. But because you can't see it, we're going to leave it just like this. We're almost done with all of the guidelines. What are we missing though? His headphones and his belt. Yeah, that was one of the things I really liked about Donnie is that he had his headphones with him everywhere he went <laughs> and he had really big headphones. So let's draw one. We're going to draw an oval shape right here underneath his chin. And we're going to draw another oval shape right here on the right side. And if you want, you can also connect these shapes into his chin just with two straight lines on each side. 
Now it's really starting to look like Donnie, even though he doesn't have his glasses yet. Next, we're gonna draw his belt. First, let's draw this circle right in the middle of his belt. And this is where his initial, the letter D is. It's inside of this circle. Then we're gonna draw a line that connects to, from the top of this circle to the right side of his arm. And then we can do the same thing. We're gonna connect it to the left side or the left side of his shell. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the bottom of the circle. We're gonna add the, another line for the bottom of the belt. Another cool thing about Donnie is that he seemed to always have his smartphone tucked into his belt. <laughs> so we can put it right there. <laughs> and then also he had an additional thing around his waist. He had a fanny pack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's add an oval shape right here. And drop right next to the circle. I'm gonna go over it a couple times to make it darker so that our friends can see. And then the belt part just came underneath. So we can just connect it right here and right over here. Jack, we did it. We finished drawing all of the main shapes and the guidelines for Donnie. He looks really cool, except he's gonna look even better once we start adding color and start adding the layers and texture to get that really fun style that's in the movie. The first layer that we're gonna add to our drawing is using all of our light colors. So we have our light green, light purple, and we also have this brown. This is actually um, a little bit darker, but that's okay, this is for the shell, and the shell is really dark. So we'll put those off to the side. We're gonna start with our light green, and let's first color in the top above Donatello's mask. So we're gonna draw color in the top of his head. Then we can also color in the bottom of his head below his mask. We wanna color around his mouth too. Let's also color below his head on his shoulders. We'll color his, the circle for his shoulder. And then on his arm, we wanna make sure that we don't color his wraps. And he has a wrap on his elbow and also on his wrist. And then we can color in his hand. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We'll color his shoulder, his bicep. We'll leave his elbow white and his wrist white. And then we'll color in his fist. Then on his legs, we'll do the same thing. We're gonna color the top of his legs. Then on his knees, we're gonna leave that white. And then we'll color the bottom part of his legs and also his feet. Let's do the same thing for his right leg. We'll leave his knees white for his wrap. And then we'll color down to his feet. Now we're ready to switch to our light purple and we're gonna color in his bandana first. So we're gonna color around his eyes and we'll color in between his eyes. We can also color underneath and out to the edge of his head. Then let's color right here. I forgot to leave this white on his shoulder, but let's draw the end of his bandana coming down in front of his chest. So it comes down by his cheek and over his shoulder. Then we can color in all of his wraps. So let's do the first two on the left arm. This one's for his elbow. Then we can do his wrist. And we're just blocking in the color. We're not worrying about making it look perfect. It's almost like we're painting with watercolor. So then we're gonna add over here, the wrap for this elbow. And then also down here on his wrist. And let's also add the wrap on his knees. Now let's switch to our brown and we're gonna color in Donatello's shell. And we can also color in his bow staff. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes across the top of that green guideline. And then we can also make it thicker and draw another line that comes out below the green line and then color it in in between. There we go. And then you can also draw it coming into his hand and we can also connect it coming out the back of his hand to his body. So imagine it going through his hand and also coming out over here. So we can draw it thicker right on top of that green pencil line. Oh, he's looking really cool, Jack. Good job. Thank you. Now we're ready to switch to our yellow marker and we're gonna color in his chest. And we're just gonna block it in. We can color around his bandana, also around his headphones. 
Be sure to also not color in his belt or his phone and fanny pack. <laughs> and then, oh, also underneath his arm, we can color in this part too. Also, don't forget to write the letter D inside of his belt. Now let's switch to our light gray and we can color in the headphones. So we'll color in the headband part that goes around his neck. And then we're gonna come down and just color the left side of this circle. And then the right side can be the pad for the headphones. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. We'll come down and then color in the opposite side or the right side. Then we're using our really dark gray. This is almost a black color and we can color in the pad for his headphones. We're gonna color in this shape and then we can do the same thing over here on the right. Then let's also color in his belt. We're gonna color around the letter D and his fanny pack too. Now this part will fast forward and any part during the lesson, if you need extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, remember to always pause the video if you need the extra time to finish a step or even add more details. We have the first layer done and it looks really cool because we've got the colors blocked in, but now let's start adding the shading and the shadows. So first let's switch to our darker green or our medium green and we'll start up here on his forehead and we're gonna add a little shadow just here in the middle of his head. Then we're gonna add a shadow on the bottom part of his head too and we're gonna color around his mouth and if you want, you could leave a little highlight right below his mask. Then let's color below his chin, so his neck area, and we're also gonna color his shoulder. Now watch this, we're gonna color on this shoulder right here, we're only gonna color part of the shoulder. So we wanna leave the light green on the edge. So we're just gonna add this little shadow to make it look more 3D. See now his shoulder looks more round. Yeah. And then we can do the same thing on his forearm. We're gonna just color the right side of his forearm so that there's a little highlight on the left side. Then down here on his fist, we're gonna draw a line for his thumb. So it kind of looks like the letter L. Then we're gonna color his fingers below his thumb and also his palm. So I'm gonna just draw a little block of color below his wrist. And now it's starting to look like his fingers are hanging on to his bow staff. Yeah. Okay, let's come back up here. We're gonna color the inside of his shoulder. So the top part is white. Then we're gonna color the left side of his shoulder muscle. And we're gonna come down for his bicep. We'll color in most of his bicep with this medium green. Then we're gonna color the left side and also maybe the right side of his forearm. Now that's starting to look more 3D too. Then for his fist, we're gonna color the right side and the bottom to make it look like his fingers are clenched over here too. So it looks like a backwards L. And then we can also color in a little circle right here for the center of his fist. Now let's color his legs. We're gonna color the inside of his thigh, color it like this. We can also add a little shadow underneath his shell too if you want. And then let's color the right side of his calf and also his foot. Oh, and we can give him a little toe. He has two toes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let's color his right leg. And this side we can color pretty much all of it, but we wanna make sure we don't color his fist. And then down here we can color the left side of his leg coming down to his foot. And we can also split his toes down here too. Now let's switch to our orange and we're gonna add texture to his shell or the front of his chest. And this part we can color, we're just gonna layer on top of the yellow that we already added, but we can leave some of the yellow showing through. So it gives it that style from the movie. Now we're ready to add the shading to the wraps and we're using our dark purple. We can start up here and in the center of his mask, we're gonna color this in, but we're gonna go over the eyes and then we'll stop maybe right about there. So we're not gonna go all the way to the edge of his mask. 
we can do the same thing going off to the left. So the center of his mask is darker. Then we're gonna add some shading to the end of his bandana. We can color in the bottom of the bandana and then we can leave little wrinkle lines coming up over his shoulder. Now let's do the same thing for each of the wraps. So this one for his elbow, I'm gonna color the inside and kind of match the darker green. And we can also add little wrinkle lines too. Let's do the same for his wrist. And let's do the same thing on his right arm. We'll color the inside with the dark purple, but leave the outside light. And then we can add those wrinkle lines. And then we can do the same thing for the wrap on his wrist. Now I'm coloring the right side on this wrist. Let's also come down here and add shading to the wrap on his knee. We're gonna add these little wrinkle lines coming across and I'm just making them messy because you don't have to worry about making these look perfect. And then we'll do the same thing on this wrap. I'm coloring the left side dark on this side and the right side we're leaving that light purple. Now let's switch to our dark brown and we're gonna add shading to the shell. So right here, we can color in the inside of the shell. And then as it comes out to the edge of the shell, we're gonna do the same thing like we did with the wrap. We can add a little texture for the wrinkles or the little cracks in his shell. I'm also gonna add a little dark shadow underneath his arm right here. And also maybe come down here and add a little bit of the shell that you can see underneath the arm. Then let's also use the dark brown to add a shadow to his bow staff. So we could color the bottom edge of his staff. We can color in this shape right here because the whole thing's in shadow. And also the bottom half of edge over here. And if you want, you could even add little texture lines. He has, I think it wrapped a little bit. There's also some stickers on his bow staff that we could add with a white colored pencil. This looks really cool with the texture. Then we're gonna use our medium brown to add a little shadow underneath his arm. This makes his, the body look more 3D. We can add it coming down below the belt too. And you can also add the little shadow coming underneath the belt and his fanny pack. Oh, and right here, let's add a shadow also underneath the headphones on his chest. This is a medium brown that works really well as a shadow on top of the orange and the yellow. Now the last color for our markers, we're gonna use a dark green to add the last shadow. We're gonna layer this on top of all of the really dark places for the shadows. So we're gonna do this right underneath his chin, where his neck is. And then we're gonna also add this underneath his shoulder. We can also add it right here. And I'm gonna color down his forearm and we can even add it on his hand. Let's add a shadow coming down his arm and his bicep and also his forearm and his fist right here. Then let's add it coming down his leg and we're just gonna make it a little smaller than the medium green that we added. We'll also add it to his right leg. Jack, he looks really cool all colored in with the markers. It almost looks like a watercolor painting. Let's switch to our black colored pencil to add a little extra details to make it look sharper and more like the movie. So first, he's missing his glasses. So let's add the square shapes for his glasses. And they're pretty big. So we're going to first add, I'm going to draw two lines going right in between his eyes. And then we're gonna curve out from these lines. So we're gonna curve over like this, and we're gonna go all the way to the edge of his head, and then we're gonna curve down. And it's okay if these look a little sketchy too. I think that makes it look awesome and more like the movie. So we got one side of his glasses, and then we're gonna do the same shape for the other side. We wanna try to match these on both sides. So we're gonna curve around across the top. We're gonna curve under the bottom. And the corners are rounded, they're not sharp. Then let's also trace around the top of his eyes. And we could even trace around the bottom too. We're gonna make these more detailed. 
Let's also color his pupils in black, and then we'll do the same thing on the other eye. We're gonna trace around the outside and color in his pupil. Now it's really starting to look like him. Oh, <laughs> look how awesome he looks. Yes. Jack, you're doing such a good job. Now let's draw the top of his mouth and I also love having my pencil sharpen really sharp, really pointy, so we can draw these details. So we've got the top of his mouth, then we're gonna draw the bottom of his mouth, coming in and down. And I'm gonna come across to the other side. We can also add his teeth in there, but they're really light. So we're just gonna add a little line down the middle, and then we can add little lines coming up for each of the teeth going to the right. And then the same thing, just little lines coming up for each tooth. And you don't have to draw much to make them show up. Let's also use the black colored pencil to add a little line on the outside of his cheeks right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. You can even come underneath his chin too and darken in the line underneath his chin. Now this next part we're going to fast forward, but we're going to repeat that same step that we did for his head, but for his whole body. And at the end, you can pause the video to match our same style or the same lines that we added to Donnie. So this is just going to add that little dark line around all of his muscles and the outside shape of his body. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Now you can pause the video right now to match what we did. We just added that black line to the outside shapes of all of his body parts. Okay, now let's switch to our white color pencil. We're gonna use this to add a few extra texture lines. We're gonna add little lines to his headphones. We can also add little texture lines to his shell on his chest. And we can also add little highlights to his belt. I'm gonna add a little highlight to the center of his belt. You can add a highlight here. We also add little lines on top of his smartphone and also the wrinkle lines on his fanny pack. Oh, also we can add little highlights up here on his shell too. The last thing we'll do is use our purple colored pencil to add shading to his bandana and also the wraps on his elbows and wrists. Jack, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring Donnie and he turned out so cool. You could be especially proud of your drawing. Thank you. Did you have fun? Yes. Now this is a really tricky lesson. We used a lot of colors, but it wasn't too bad because we took it one step at a time. And I love how the finished drawing looks like the same style in the movie. Yeah, it's a really cool style. And I think it's awesome that we drew the full body. Yeah, it's cool. And you can even use that same technique to draw all of the turtles. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Donnie with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different. They don't look exactly the same, but they both turn out awesome. Yep. The most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, and to practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. Parents, also remember that you can purchase Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem on digital today. We also want to give a special shout out to our friends at Paramount Pictures. Thank you for sponsoring this art lesson, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.